Check this out. I have never seen this before. Bobblehead pumpkin? What? Spirit Halloween in Mayfield, Ohio. Let's go inside and see what they got. Okay, guys, we're greeted by Mr. Pumpkinhead again. Let's see what he has to say this time. Tonight, the night will bright. Look at those eyes. He's not moving anymore. He's just kind of standing there. He's not going to move today. Okay, and we got this guy, Mr. Longneck Lord Raven. It looks like he's on a motion activation. Look at his neck extend. I love being able to see the mechanism, even though it's supposed to be hidden. Let's get him going again real quick. Well, he is on a motion activation. Lord Raven and his bird beak and bird hands. He is very cool. A little too quiet, though. We can't really even hear what he's saying. Let's move on to the next, guys. See you later, Lord Raven. Here's Grim. Let's get him going. Or not. Guess he's not going to do anything. We'll come back to him. Here's my favorite, Shorty. And they never quite get his wrists right. His glove is just kind of hanging there. He might be out for the count this time, too. Yeah, he's still going, though. When they put them together, kind of sloppy. He doesn't really look all that great, but he is an awesome animatronic. I wish they would make the other killer clowns and animatronics too. Maybe they'll do that in the next years. That would be awesome. See you later, Shorty. Oh, there's no Crouchy today. No young Crouchy. But there is... Oh my goodness. <laughs> look at Barry's hair. He's got pigtails! Look at how funny he looks. <laughs> he can't even be scary with that hair. Let's get him rolling here. Oh, he's not going to do it. Oh, he's not even working today. What a bummer. But look at his funny hairdo. It was still worth it to come see his funny hairdo. I'll see you later, Barry. Let's check out Grim again, see if we can get him working. You look like death warmed over, my friend. This is good. Soon there will be enough of us. And we will terrorize the living until we go. Yes, Grim. I am with you. Another one of my favorites, the Bog Zombie. I love him. They've got all these on the motion activation right now. Huh. But he only goes for a little bit. Let's see if this will activate him again. No, I guess not. How odd. When they put him on motion, he doesn't really... None of them really work too well. Yeah. That's too bad. I wonder why they do that. I love the red bubbles. Those are so cool. But it looks like they ran out of money because these are fake. All right, Monty Monkey over here. He's waiting for us. I wonder if he is also set to motion activate. Like, nothing here is working. This is kind of a bummer. Well, all right. I'll see you later, Monty. Thanks for looking so cool for us. Here's this awesome... Jason Voorhees mask again. I love this one. So creepy. Then you've also got this one pretty cool. Just a replica from the movie. You've got his machete over here. These are super awesome. I love anything Friday the 13th. This is one of my favorite pullover hoodies. Everyone is entitled to one good scare, trick or treat, or die. Such an awesome pullover. But they never have my size. This is a cool mask. I love how detailed it is, how dirty. That's from the newest Halloween. And you've got these more cleaner ones, not so dirty and used. And then this one that has the hole in his neck when he was stabbed in with the hanger. Here's my favorite Chucky mask, looking awesome. But did they staple his hair? I've never noticed that before. Why have I never noticed this before? <laughs> it just looks like his hair. Oh, never mind. It's supposed to be like that. <laughs> no colorful scream masks today. They've got plenty of the ones with the red mouth, the light up ones. Here's a chrome. We have a chrome mask and costume today, but none of the blue or purple ones. Here's the awesome ghost face knife. 
That thing is pretty sweet. And here's the weapon that he used in the movie. That is awesome. If you're gonna use a ghost face costume, that's the knife you would wanna use. We have three different kinds of Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger uh, gloves with the blades on. We've got this one right here, this little bit cheaper one down here, and then we've got the ones in the box, which probably are about the best ones they have. They look the most realistic. And if I was going to make a Freddy costume, I would probably go with this mask. They have this cheaper one that looks kind of like an old fashioned mask. It's pretty cool. They've got the trick or treat costumes and the light up lollipop, as well as the Holly Ho chocolate bar. You don't see those at every single Spirit Halloween. Plenty of trick or treat masks, a hat, the treat bag, which I think is super cool. And look, it's the trick or treat style knife. I like how they do these uh, knives based on the movies. So those are pretty cool. Here's the Beetlejuice section again. Now this mask is a full over the whole head mask. That is super awesome. The hair is super realistic and nasty. He's got the green stuff, the moss growing on him. Look at his teeth sticking out there. This mask is also super cool. It goes over most of the head, like the hair goes over the whole head. It's not a bad mask, but this one certainly is superior. Then we got my favorite, the killer clown section. We've got Spiky Shorty. Here's a Shorty mask. Here's the Spiky mask and Jumbo. They've got all three masks here today but they don't have any of the full over-the-head masks. I really like those. They have a ton of the Killer Clowns cotton candy guns here today. That's awesome. Here's a cool Killer Clown shirt. Here's the female shorty costume. We've seen that one a couple times. I really like this cotton candy gun. That thing is super cool. This is cool. In my last video, I showed you some of these Joker canes, but this one is actually for the Riddler. How cool is that? You could be the Riddler for Halloween. And here is the whole Riddler suit. That would be an awesome costume. Here's Batman Arkham Asylum's uh, The Joker. We have a bunch of Scooby-Doo costumes. Here's a Scooby-Doo Union suit, that's funny. And then you've got the ears and the tail and the collar. How funny. Here's an awesome mystery machine hat. I'm thinking about getting that one. I've seen the Krusty Krab hat and spatula before, but I don't think that I have seen the Krusty Krab jacket before. Is there a costume with this? Oh yeah, I think it may also, it comes with a hat. That's pretty cool. So it's a whole Krusty Krab uniform. You can work at the Krusty Krab. Will we be getting business cards? I love this Gremlins Greta costume. That is so funny. Check it out. You could be the Powerpuff Girls for Halloween. We've got Buttercup, Blossom, and Bubbles. This is pretty cool. They've got astronaut costumes. Here's the blue astronaut jumpsuit, the white astronaut jumpsuit, the NASA jacket, astronaut boots, astronaut gloves, and this awesome astronaut helmet. I like this stuff. It's like a bunch of medieval stuff. You could be a woodland huntress, a dark knight. We have a viking mug right here. With the helmets and shields. Here's some ginormous swords. You can be a noble king. You could even be a templar. Here's a pet dragon that you can put on your shoulder if you're going to be a noble knight. This is cool. They have a whole 80s section. They've got like these 80s hats, the neon colored bracelets. They've got this totally 80s dress, glam rocker, 80s button up. 80s workout track suit that is too funny here's like the belt that the girls will put around their waist in the 80s here's the 80s joggers that is so funny that would be like a total fashion statement back in the 80s gun fishing that is totally me every day i don't even need the suit this looks like my grandpa he even wears the headband and the full waiter suit you could be a couple of monkeys for Halloween. This is cute. It's a deer poncho and a cozy fawn. Here's a voodoo doll. This is what you get for not taking me to Spirit Halloween, Mom. <laughs> Check this out. Space Cowgirl Toy Revolver. It's super sparkly. They've got plenty of Nightmare Before Christmas plushies here. We've got Sally, Jack, Mr. Oogie Boogie. We don't have the green one, but we've got these guys. We've got Vamp Teddy. Here's the awesome Nightmare Before Christmas Oogie Boogie mug for when you're watching Nightmare Before Christmas and you drink some hot cocoa. Look at these cups, these are pretty sweet. Roll the dice, let them roll. That's awesome. Here's a Jack mug. 
I love mugs. I don't recall ever seeing this hat here. It says strange and unusual. I believe that's the girl's hat in the movie Beetlejuice. This is an awesome Beetlejuice cup though. It says no feet and it's got a couple of sheet ghosts on it. This is an awesome Beetlejuice mug. It says here lies Beetlejuice. These are some pretty cool chalices. Wow, look at that. I don't know what material that's made of, but that is like solid. And look at these gold and black two-pack pint glass sets with skulls on them. That is super cool. Here's a dagger with an eye on it. What? Check it out, guys. They have a whole stack of animatronics here. They've got one of my favorites, the Nightcrawler. They also have Young Crouchy here. They've got another Nightcrawler, Sitting Scarecrow, another Young Crouchy. We've got the Fogging Skull Pile, Man's Possessed Friend. He is one of my favorites. I love him so much. We've got a Nozzles the Clown here. I haven't seen too many of him for sale lately. Oh my gosh, they have the Burrito Babies. I haven't seen them in so long. I've been to a few Spirit Halloweens and none of them ever have the Burrito Babies. But we've got the Spider Eater and we also have the cockroach eater we also have the baby brain eater and the crawler the rat lover he's one of my favorites i think i like the rat lover the most okay we're gonna pay our respects to the animatronics over here we've got reagan let's get her going i'm not reagan i'm the devil <laughs> oh. she's not twisting her head this store has oh there we go I thought she was broken for a minute there. Here's old Bag of Bones, another one of my favorites. I love him so much. He bounces up so fast and so hard. He is one of my favorites. We might have to do him again. But let's check out Lil Skelly Bones. His legs seem to be a little bit broken right now. <laughs> kind of spooked me a little bit there. I thought he might have been broken because he's so messed up. I love little skelly bones, and I know you guys do too. Here's Nozzles the Clown. We always love Nozzles the Clown. Look at that big long nose. The big long jalapeno nose. Let's get him going. How's it going, Nozzles? I can't wait until they start putting the smoke coming out of his nozzles. They're gonna do it soon here, because it's October. We have another full stack, full, full stack of jumping spiders. Look at how many there are. That is insane. And they're on sale right now. That is so crazy. I just can't believe they have so many jumping spiders this year. We've got some Chucky greeters, the Sam greeters, the flaming pumpkin. I like that one a lot. Here's one of my favorites. The Killer Clown's Glass with the popcorn all over it. I love that one. I really like it. Here's the Sam Glass. That one's another one of my favorites. Everything here is my favorite. I love it all. Here's the Halloween 2 Glass with the pumpkins and the Michael masks. We do have a Ghost Face Inflatable. Here's a couple of Bobbleheads, Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Ghost Face. Two of my favorites. And the Michael Myers String Lights. That is super awesome. We also have the Gremlins bobblehead here. Check out all the sidesteppers here today. Let's see if any of them work. We got it. Oh yeah. Oh, he's not gonna walk. Let's see if the one behind him walks. There we go. He is so cool. <laughs> How cool, I'm glad this one worked. Here's the Sam sidestepper. Oh, he's not gonna work either? No, I guess not. That's too bad. Let's go on to Billy Butcher. Yeah. Billy Butcher. And his wild hairdo. I'm glad he works. Good to see you, Billy Butcher. Here's a Sam one. Nope, not working either. And we've got Frankenstein. None of the Frankensteins are working today, unfortunately. Here's a Killer Clowns figurine, and it lights up. There's a try me button on the back, it says. Yes, right here. Yeah, we got some colors on there. Very cool. 
at nighttime, that would be awesome, having him be light up by all these colorful lights beneath him. I don't know that I've seen this before. It's the Trick or Treat Lollipop String Lights. That is very cool. No, I don't think I've seen that before. And we also have our Trick or Treat statues. I love checking these out. The light in there is never too bright, but I just know that at nighttime when it's dark, that would look awesome. Here's my favorite, Michael Myers with the pumpkin, the jack-o'-lantern. He looks super awesome. I really like that one. Here's a Trick or Treat sign. Oh, it's not gonna light up though but it's a wagon with pumpkins in the back. We saw these last time, so trick or treat street lights with Sam sitting there with his treat bag. How cool is that? This is an awesome door cover with leather face. How cool is that? And then we've got trick or treat door cover, it and killer clowns from outer space. They always stay socked on the hanging Sam's. These guys are super cool and super big. I love those. But here is the ghost face 60 inch light up figure. This one's not gonna light up for us. He has a really cool blue light. Nope, neither of them are gonna light up for us, but those guys are super cool when they're working. This is a pretty cool sign that says you'll float too. Look at that. Look at how it moves when you move around. They always stay pretty stocked on inflatables. We've got the Reaper, a bunch of those, a ton of ghosts. They always have a ton of the ghosts. They've got the gargoyle, the tombstone. They've got the hearse, a couple of scary clown archways and jack-o'-lantern archways. We've got a bunch of the pathway markers. Yeah, those are cool. Very cool. Here's my favorite bat. I love these guys. Look at him. He's so cute. That is so funny. Here's his little pointy teeth and his beady eyes. That is so funny. I love him. If you guys like the pirate stuff, they have a ton of cool pirate stuff. Look at this pirate hat. Another giant pirate hat, like a captain's hat or something. Here's a mini pirate hat. That's funny. And then they've got this pirate pistol here. They've got eye patches of various kinds. Here's a pirate necklace. It looks like the medallion. Here's some awesome pirate swords. Yeah, they have even got parrots that you can put on your shoulder. I kind of want to be a pirate for Halloween now. Here's a pirate hook hand. They even have ladies pirate hats and an awesome pirate goblet. Look at that. That is awesome. If you're into steampunk, this store has a ton of steampunk things. They've got all these different steampunk costumes and then they've got these wild masks here these are awesome look at these glasses oh my gosh they're so shiny like gems and then they've got steampunk finger rings gloves all kinds of stuff for you to put together an awesome steampunk costume look at these hats with the goggles on top that is cool they even have steampunk skull staffs and that thing is heavy man that is like a good quality staff they've got hocus pocus brooms that say it's just a bunch of hocus pocus and they even have the binks kit you could be Binks for Halloween. Oh my gosh, you could be Bob Ross for Halloween. Look, he's got the hair and the beard and the painter's palette. That is so funny. Look, you could even be a Bob Ross painting. That is so funny. You could be Bob Ross and your friend could be the Bob Ross painting. I've never seen this before. It's a Fortnite Triceratops union suit and there's a pair of them for you and your girlfriend. I also see tomato head costume on clearance for 50 bucks here. Here's a Suicide Squad Harley Quinn bat. Look at that. It's a fake bat, but it's almost real. Wham! And here is a Harley Quinn mallet. Look at that. How cool is that? If you're gonna be Harley Quinn, you're gonna need the Puddin' Deluxe Choker. Here's a Suicide Squad inflatable hammer. That way you can hit people and it won't hurt. Check it out, guys. They have the Crouchy and check it out, guys. They're fully stocked with Crouchy plushies and little Skelly Bones plushies. And of course, the Beetlejuice plushies. Every store I've gone through almost has had all of these. Guys, they have the inflatable light up Oogie Boogie costume. That is too cool. They've got a whole little section for zombie apocalypse. Look at this zombie skeleton. That is really cool. The hazmat suit, of course. And then these cinch treat bags. I love these. Check this out. I have never seen this before. Bobblehead pumpkin? What? That is super crazy. It's a size large child's bobblehead pumpkin costume. 
I've never seen that before. Then we've got the L Wire Reaper. That's a really cool costume. The Glow Skeletons. Those are super cool. Skeleton Undertaker. I don't really see that one often. And the Dark Dragon. Here's the Laughing Jack. He is super creepy. Here's one of my favorites, the Ghost. I love these treat collector hands on a stick. You just grab one of these and then you hold it out in front of you, say trick or treat, and the neighbor puts candy right in the bag. This one is a ghost. This one is ghost face. This one is an alien. How cool is that? Here's a skeleton hand with a skeleton face. This one is a skeleton face with a skeleton body on the bag. This one's pretty cool. It's a pumpkin and an orange hand. This one's awesome. They have Slimer, the ghost from Ghostbusters on the bag with the hand candy collector. And of course, they also have the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man hand candy collector. Okay guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween in Mayfield, Ohio. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>